World. Create PT World. Create PT World. Create PT World. To the Create PT World Club. G'day, it's Brad Shepard here from Craig PT Wealth. I'm here for um, tip number four in terms of how you can get your message out to your clients. Now, uh, the first place that I'm going to, the next place I should say I'm going to tell you to start is your own clients. Testimonials. You need to be collecting testimonials and you need to be broadcasting those testimonials to your whole database. Now, let's think about testimonials. There's a few good things you need in a testimonial. One thing that I'd recommend having in there is some type of photo of the person because what that enables the person reading it to do is to start to make a connection with a real person. Even better than that is to have some type of before and after shot. So if you've had a client who's had some outstanding results, you know, lost 15 kilos or done whatever, if you've got some type of before and after picture and they're happy for you to use it, then absolutely great. Second part to the testimonial is to have it written in such a way that has some qualitative information in there. What I mean by that is the actual real evidence. So, you know, even though it might sound cool, it's not that great saying, look, Dave's a really nice guy, I enjoy training with him and he makes me laugh all the time. You know, what we need to do is we need to send out the message in there. When I started with Dave, I had tried every diet under the sun and every joined every gym and just found that I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. Since training with him in just 12 weeks, I've been able to lose 10 kilos and I feel better than ever. I'd highly recommend his services, something along those lines. Can you see the difference between those two? The next thing I'd encourage you to do is have the person's name attached to it. A real person possibly have their age and possibly even have their occupation or their position in their company. Then the last part, and this one's the clincher, ask permission first of course, but put down their mobile phone number. Now why would you do that? Well what it does, it just gives you a lot more social proof to show that hey this is a real person um, and this person's you know, willing to back up what we're saying here if you give them a call. Now the, the funny bit about it is nobody calls. Nobody calls. Um, and if they do, hey I'm sure that your client will be the person who will actually want to sing your praises. So, you know, it's a win-win all around. So, um, they're the main things you need to do in there. Now, you can slot that into uh, any information that you send out to clients, be that hard copy, be that email newsletter, be a blog. Get the information out there on your website. Um, you need to put the testimonials everywhere you can.